Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. It's match day as Gated take on Solihull Moors at the Gates International Stadium. This has got to be one of the biggest games of the season, if not the biggest. Two months left for the running of the season. Um, and this game's a Tuesday night. Um, obviously it got postponed. It was originally supposed to be a Tuesday night. But due to the, um, I think it was the rain, and the game got called off on a waterlogged pitch um, a few weeks ago. Might, just over a month, I think. Um... And yeah, so obviously we've got two big games coming up tonight. We sit fifth, I'm pretty sure, and Solihull sit fourth. That's how big of a game this is today, um, or tonight. Um, yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Um, the fans have got to get behind the team because at this stage of the season, you have to get behind the boys. It's going to be every single game is going to be challenging, especially against a team like Solihull who are definitely the threat to cause us problems in this playoff race. But, um, yeah, obviously we've got two big games tonight. And on Saturday, we've got the quarter-final of the FA Trophy. So, obviously, a chance to go to the semi-finals. So, what well, games are thick and fast. We have got some challenging games coming up. Um, but, obviously, these lads, this group of players this season, they've definitely deserved to be where they are right now, sitting in this sort of position. But obviously we can't let it slip. We're getting more injuries back. We did have a lot of injury problems, recalls. Um, but we've made good reinforcements. You know, we've we've lost one manager. We've got a new manager. Well, interim manager. But am I still doing it? That's how good this team is. This team deserves so much more credit than what they are getting right now. But such a big game tonight. One game loss. And that could be a playoff race done. Well... Not done, done, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, it's going to be really challenging tonight. Um, Solly Hull are good in terms of counter attacking the score goals, but um, yeah, I'm going to go for a 3 0 victory to Gateshead. I'm going to say Marcus Denanga to get one, Luke Hannant, Luke Hannant double, and Marcus Denanga. But um, yeah, if you guys are new on here, make sure you guys get down there or like, subscribe. Let's get over to the Gates at the National Stadium and let's see what happens in this playoff game. Come on, boys. And we're also going to be getting joined by a special guest today. Um, Taylor, you might recognise him. His last game was at York. 1-1, Kyron Lofthouse. Late goal. Um, yeah, he's going to be returning. It was originally supposed to be Sam, but Sam's unavailable today. So um, yeah, me and Taylor are going to get down and back the boys. And yeah, we'll get his prediction as well. But yeah, I'm going for a Luke Cannon masterclass tonight. But we've got two big games. A cup quarter final on Saturday, but tonight it's Tuesday action. Fourth versus fifth. Unbelievable. We are the underdogs, I'd say, since we are lowering the table, I'm pretty sure. Or is it Solly Hole fifth or fourth? I think we're the fifth team. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter what, where we are, where they are. Anything can happen. You know, we could beat them 5-0. We could lose 5-0. Anything can happen. But you can't slip up at this stage of the season. You can't afford to. We've just got to go down there, back the boys, have all the hope we can. And, um, yeah, hope for a good victory tonight. Right, Taylor, score predictions for tonight? Uh, I think it'll be 2-1 to Gateshead. Who are you going to score? Come on, then. Uh, Denanga, man. Denanga's yeah. got a score. He's on good form. Denanga and... Uh, and uh, Booty, Regan Booty is starting as well in the front three. Um, we're at the Gates at National Stadium now. We're gonna go get inside. Let's see if we can beat a team who's one point above us. It's a big game, biggest game it of the season in the playoff race. But hopefully we get the three points, take the three points, and then we've got Saturday. We've got the quarter final of the FA Trophy. A chance to go to the semis at home as well. So two big games this week. So, I hope we can get the result against. I think both games are really important, but you want to get into the playoffs. I'll say tonight is more important than that quarter final because in the cup we do do rotations, but we'll have to win tonight. Yeah. 
the best one to lose. Go on! Okay, just I know! Walk in. Just walk in. Walk in. Walk in. Shoot. Go on, Louis! Story! Story! Going, how are man? Go on, yo, lovely. Who's up? Can you not Go on. Oh, shoot. Oh, how are you? Fuck, attack the lead, Man, how we uh, regroup, lads. Fucking hell. Shit, last 10 minutes, yeah. Montgomery, man. He's on. If they score, that's a bounce. Oh my fucking god! They've been left to four goals. Oh my days! Job's been fucking done. This is actually embarrassing. Right, no. That's it as a wake up call. Fucking hell, man. Yes, Kane. Oh my days! Oh! 
That is never a penalty. What the fuck? James Montgomery. Da, 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 da. Oh. Keep on, so ready. Oh. Embarrassing. Get into a man! Come on, Brown! Brown! Oh! Oh! Way, Brown, man! Come on, Hugh Evans! Come back! Oh, my days! Their keeper has been outstanding this year. Oh, my days. 4 1's actually embarrassing. Oh! Oh! Monty, how are you after fucking Leon now? How are you? Come on, Danny. What? Not me. Thanks, I've got a block, Let's go here. Taking it short. Winner! Full time, gate at two, Solihull was three, defeat in the end. I mean, 
we scored that early goal through Ben Warman. Then we just we, we just got outplayed in every department. We scored that early goal. Then the outplayed were everywhere. I don't know what happened. But the full 90 until like the last 10 minutes, we were abysmal. I mean, Keen Adam was the Keen Adam and Ed Francis were the two good players today. But we scored that early goal, and from then on, it was just outplayed in every department. Um, it's not good enough, especially in this promotion race, playoff yes. race. You, yes. you can't be losing, because now that means Solly will go four points above us. So obviously that's going to be a tr a, It's not going to be good. We've got games coming thick and fast. We've got the FA Trophy quarter final on Saturday. Then back to Tuesday action at home at Dagenham. I mean, Dagenham is fairly winnable. I mean, Dagenham aren't the best team. But we've, we've got to improve for the Cups, I mean, the quarter final. Because that display scored the early goal, and from then on, it was just outplayed. I don't know what happened. But, like, with the passing, the passing was just sloppy. We didn't get the passes right. We couldn't string a few passes together, and it was just. Even if even when we did, we, we couldn't attack with it. We couldn't get it into the box. Just abysmal display, like. But I can't believe that. I mean, we could have done a lot better. I mean, the last 15 minutes, we really started having a go at it. Why in the last 15 minutes? I mean, who scored? When, uh, was it Julian Brown? I think he scored the goal to get one back. He's been absolutely fantastic. Obviously, scored a last minute equaliser against Boromwood. Um, he's a real impact to the team. So I reckon that'll be Denanga draft. It's got to be. I mean, give Brown a chance in the cup on Saturday. But I don't know what to say other than outplayed. Until the last 10 minutes, what a bism. There's not much else to say. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll bounce back at the cup quarterfinal. But we've got to make rotations for the cup. I mean, the, yeah. The I mean, game. We were just outplayed at the end of the day. Like, we, we only really did really well in the last like, 10, 15 minutes. When we, saw, when we scored the equaliser, we were constantly like, pressing on them. It just wasn't happening. And I, I mean, fair play to Solly Hole. Like, the fans we were brilliant. For how and many of them there was? There were. On a Tuesday night from Birmingham, it was un unbelievable. So, fair play to all of them. And um, they definitely get, they got a lot of praise from me at the end of the game for the travelling and the um, support for our team. It was unbelievable. But. Fair play to Solly who the outplayed were everywhere and in the end they deserve to win. And that's a sad truth. They deserve to win. We didn't deserve to get anything out of that. But we've got Peterborough Sports in the quarter final. We'll have to bounce back then. Right, at the end of the day, just gonna say something. We all know we only lost because I came to the game. Because you know it's my curse. Whenever I come to the games, we're always You came to the semi-final? Oh yeah, I we won three three, like because we came they came back from three 0 down. Oh wait, fair play. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we're one of the pens, like. So. But, I mean, Louis Story, I, I don't know what happened. Same with Montgomery. Didn't he just got like an absolute screamer as well? Yeah. Like, in the Barnet game, was it? Was yeah. it after? Yeah. Aye, see you next game. Um, not a good display from the boys. We've got to bounce back. I don't think that defines the rest of the season. It's one game that we haven't played well. It's We're, caught, we're going to bounce back, obviously. That doesn't define us. We're still in the playoff race, but it's going to be a lot trickier now. But if you, um, if you enjoy this video, get down there, like, subscribe. What do you think of the game? I thought it was a good game. We've got outplayed though. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. I'll see you later.